we're now going to talk about homeostasis for several videos. Uh, homeostasis is, a, is an old term. It was originally coined by Claude Bernard, one of the great French neurologists, of which there are many, um, and then popularized by Walter Cannon, an American physiologist who wrote uh, the wisdom of the body. And, uh, and this book has sort of this almost mystical view of the body in that it knows what it needs and, and then it, 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 it adjusts itself to hit that perfect middle state where we all want to sit. And, and that um, idea, those ideas, first of all, that there's a middle state that we all want to be at, and second of all, that the body somehow knows how to get there, um, those ideas are, are still very popular amongst, uh, amongst the public. Um, and I, I want to uh, acknowledge that the concept of homeostasis is, has now really been replaced by one of what's called allostasis. And then I'm going to explain to you why we're going to still use the old term anyway. Okay. So allostasis takes the view that constancy is not fundamental to life. There is no middle, middle state in which we want our body to exist. That, in fact, we want our body to exist in a state that is conducive to the tasks of the moment, to the situation, the, uh, the situation of the moment. Um, and that uh, a mean value, so, so let's take, for example, blood pressure. Um, that a mean value of blood pressure is, is not a, a good value. It is simply the value that is most frequently seen in the conditions in which it's measured. So um, to take this a little, and, and this is, th these are ideas that are very well um, uh, described by Peter Sterling in this, in this uh, article on Physiology and Behavior. Um, and just to, take, to, to continue with blood pressure. Blood pressure, we have this mean blood pressure that we're supposed to be at, but if, for example, if you had a blood pressure of 120 over 70, and that, uh, which is a, a good blood pressure, if you had that while you were running a race, well then, that would not be good. If you had 120 over 70, even while you were uh, in the middle of the night, while you're sleeping, that would still not be good. So. The blood pressure, the appropriate blood pressure is, there's not one appropriate blood pressure. The appropriate blood pressure is the blood pressure that uh, meets the demands of the moment. So during sleep, during exercise, during eating, uh, during a, a, a nap a after eating, uh, or even just relaxation after eating, in all these situations, the blood pressure is and should be different. So the allostasis viewpoint, so, so then if you, if, you, if you take this further, now you're looking at somebody who has elevated blood pressure. The homeostasis viewpoint of that, or, or perspective on that, is that we need to get this, this elevated blood pressure back to the mean value, back to this good set point, this good mean value. And so we're going to use drugs to get it back there. The allostasis perspective is that if you see elevated blood pressure, that means that you have, uh, you are over engaging in circumstances that lead to an elevated blood pressure, that you, you, have, a, you have too much load on the system. Um, and so, for example, you may uh, have heightened vigilance, and that may be producing a need to, um, uh, an elevated blood pressure. So the, the treatment from a homeostatic point of view is to give a drug to get you back to this good mean point. And the allostatic uh, treatment would be to lower the demands on the system. So how do you lower the demands on the system? Well, go for a walk out in the nature. Go, go out to a park. Uh, take a day off. Um, and these are... Uh, for you, you can decide to what extent you you favor either of these views, and 
the reason, although I personally think that there is a, a great deal of validity to the allostatic mo model, the treatments and the perspective um, take you to a place where you basically need to engage in public policy and government. And that's not um, something that I can teach you. So uh, even though I think that there's a lot of uh, a validity to the allostatic model, I can't tell you anything about it. I can't tell you how to, to convince governments to make more parks or to reduce the workload or to pay people more um, to re reduce their stress. Uh, but I can tell you how the homeostatic model works. And so that's what we're going to do. So it's a very, li I'm going to tell you up front, I'm going to tell you the limited viewpoint upon which I have any expertise, which is how does the body work and how can we manipulate the way the body works from this one perspective, which may, in fact, have a, have a critical flaw in it. Okay, with that said, let's jump into homeostasis. <music>